Morning, fam. Morning. Dude, these farm eggs that you get from the grocery store have the orangiest, orangiest? Yolks. Orangiest, that's the official word. Orangiest. The other day, I saw a leaf fall and it was flying. Yeah, it was flying. Really? We're Heath and Alyssa. We take family road trips all over the world and share them here on YouTube. We're currently on a two week camper van trip across New Zealand. In today's video, we take a day trip to the town of Akaroa where we hop on a boat in search of dolphins and other wildlife. We literally just got on, I just saw a dolphin. Where the kids have been the last two days. I was actually thinking maybe we could walk to a coffee shop this morning. Yeah, let's do it. Took a few days off of vlogging and really driving anywhere. We just posted up here in Christchurch and the kids have been having a blast at the playground here at the park and there's playgrounds in the neighborhood that we've walked to. But Heath and I have been just a little under the weather, which is never fun when you're traveling and really never fun when you're traveling with kids because you don't even get to lay in bed all day and pretend like you're sicker than you are so that you can watch movies. What's the game plan for today? Today we are going to Akaroa and we're going to take a harbor cruise to see some dolphins and some seals and I was a little bit like, eh, is this really going to be worth it with the kids? You never know with wildlife, but they have a guarantee on their website, you will see dolphins. So when I told Ellie that, she started jumping up and down excited. I love how much you perked up when you said what we're doing today. Who wants to see a dolphin today? Me. Okay, I went outside to tell the kids we needed to walk to a coffee shop and I said, who wants fluffies? Great way to get coffee for myself is to offer them a fluffy. And Eli throws his arms up in the air, starts going to the stroller and goes, Fluffa. <laughs> Who wants a fluffy? Who Say wants... it. Tell daddy Fluffa. Who? Oh. <laughs> I think that's his first F word. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the original F word. Daddy fluffy. Got <laughs> that's one of his first words. Like top 20. Fluffy. <laughs> Is this fall yeah, weather messing yeah, with so your head? Still, it's really physically confusing to go through so many seasons and so many types of weather within a month time frame. Yeah, we went from winter, spring, fall and experienced all the emotions. All of them. And then shortly after this, we're going to fly back to Texas. Look at these leaves though. Oh They're man. so magical. It's also really nice. All of the holiday parks we've stayed at have been in really walkable areas so we can walk to coffee shops and restaurants and things versus other countries the campgrounds are usually far out from other things so there's no chance you're ever going to walk anywhere how is it eli is it good one of my favorite things when possible is going to try local coffee shops. <sighs> Failed at that this morning because it was like an extra half mile walk both ways. So uphill both, uphill ways. both ways. So we decided to take the easy route and go to Starbucks. I did it and I did great. I did it and I did great. Oh, great. Ray, I have a day. Hi, <laughs> teddy bears. Hello. freedom camping area so like if we camp if we wanted to camp over here where we can actually walk into town it's much not sure if this is where we'll camp tonight but if we do camp here it's not a bad spot even though we made it to Akaroa an hour plus before our little cruise we're still like 
I'm in a rush to get over there because I checked the email and it's like, oh, be there for final check-in 20 minutes before departure, which is in 15 minutes, 14 minutes. This is like the wilderness. And we're 15 be. minutes away. So the world's smallest dolphin, Hector's dolphin, I believe, or a Hector dolphin. With a name like Hector, I want to make it possessive. Like these are Hector's Whoa. dolphins, but they're the smallest in the know. world. We're seeing the world's smallest hey, dolphin? Hey, Bobby. Yeah. Oh, good thing I put on my 50 lens on the camera. <laughs> Akaru is one of those towns that whenever you come to New Zealand, especially in the South Island, a lot of people will tell you to go visit. And you can really just see why as you're driving in. It's a very windy drive to get out here. But as soon as you kind of come into where you can see the water in the town, it's pretty idyllic. And it's the only French founded village in all of New Zealand. We made it on the boat just in time. And there's coloring pages. You gonna get a better view up here? Ellie and I must explore every part of the boat as soon as we get on. I just saw a dolphin. I, I'll tell you when I see another one. We literally just got on. I just saw a dolphin. Just the fin, but I'm assuming we'll see more. All right, Ellie, we gotta keep an eye out. on the harbor cruise to see dolphins, which we've already seen, but the rest of the views are pretty spectacular too. The Akaro Harbor you're currently looking at was formed by the collapse of a volcanic crater. The volcano is considered now extinct as it hasn't erupted for over 6 million years. However, what was left behind was pretty spectacular. We're on our little colony of seals. Can't get very close because it's super hot. So the sea conditions are really good here today. Not only did we get to see seals on our cruise, but we also stumbled upon a lone penguin, which our captain told us was very rare for this time of year. And while the wildlife sightings were cool, the real gem was just being out on the water and seeing the incredible surroundings. That was beautiful. Yeah, something about just getting on the hey, water Daddy. and getting a different vantage point makes hey, a huge Daddy. difference. What, babe? Oh, yeah. Do you like this, please? Do you like this? I love your picture, baby. It's beautiful. We're bringing Daddy. home some colored pictures. Hey, what, baby? Yeah, when we made it out to the yes. ocean, it got yes. pretty rocky. I think the cruise probably could have been about 30 to 45 minutes shorter, and I would have been pretty hey, content with that, honestly. But it was cool. You say that on literally every boat ride we ever go on. Don't take me on a round the world cruise, though. <laughs> I'm always like, I love it on the way out, and on the way back, I'm like, yeah, I could nap. Yeah. And I usually do. No, it's do. the like the motion, like it really lulls you to sleep. Street, Everyone was over here, so going. We're on the street. Yeah. Oh, how did Happy we end hour. up in the middle of the street? We just were walking, not paying attention, like usual. <laughs> On the boat, when we were by the waterfalls, just coloring. <laughs> Here, past this, literally leap, leapt out of the stroller. Okay guys, let's go get some dinner. Cruise was great. Akaro, I would say, is a really great day trip. If you just want to come out, maybe take a kayak out, jump on a boat. But I would definitely recommend getting out on the water because the vantage point that we had today was pretty amazing. Right here it's soft rolling green hills and once we got right out of this harbor, it's these crazy jagged cliffs and caves. Got to see some waterfalls. It almost looked like Ireland a little bit. I, mean, I thought they same thing like the Cliffs of Mohair. Yeah, I haven't been to Ireland but it just imagined what I thought it would look like. Great day in Ireland. sunset makes me really grateful that we decided to come to the South Island and escape the rain. Daddy, why does you 
Scott. Off to our free campsite. You good there?